Silver Glen Springs is a first magnitude spring. First magnitude springs are classified as the largest ones and discharge at least 64.6 million gallons of water per day. This spring discharges about 65 million gallons of water per day that comes from two large vents. The spring head is 200 feet in diameter and the spring run flows 3,300 feet into Lake George, the second largest lake in Florida. While the general spring pool is 5 to 7 feet deep, the bottom funnels down to the limestone openings about 20 feet deep. It has a year-round water temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and both striped bass and tilapia fish can be found there, sometimes manatee as well, but they've basically been run off due to all the boat use in the area. Oh, <laughs> The spring is the site of pre-Columbian Native American habitation, evidenced by several large shell mounds on the land around the spring. These mounds are believed to have been built or accumulated by Indians that once lived in the area. Numerous Indian remains and artifacts have been found associated with the mounds near the springs. Silver Glen Springs is about an hour drive north of Orlando and is a part of the Ocala National Forest. It is open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and costs $6 per person to enter. Usually there is an option to rent canoes as well.
After snorkeling, we did a quick hike on the Springs Boils Trail. It's a beautiful and short hike measuring less than a half mile round trip. When you reach the dead end, you're greeted by some really cool bubbling sand springs. It can get rather crowded in the middle of the day, so go early to avoid traffic. For lunch, we recommend going to Odd Todd's for some tacos. They were delicious. We had such a great time exploring and can't wait for more adventures. Ta-ta for now. Get behind the scenes. Get in the sun so I can see how pretty your mask face is. Oh, oh. Look how... Some mask rings. <laughs>